Welcome back to Orchid Delirium. I'm Brenda and today I'm going to spotlight Kefirstenias. Um, I was speaking with Yinsi from Yinsi Schnapp um, Orchid channel and he has a Kefirstenia that um, keeps having a bud that gets stuck in the leaf crux and blasts or um, he tries to uh, create an exit for the bud and the bud blasts. So He's having a little bit of trouble with it, and I just happen to have um, three of them, but two are duplicates. He did a leaf cutting on his to try to save his current bud, and um, from what I've experienced with mine, is they are very vigorous and they are very floriferous. So, um, if this bud blasts, there will be another one, and. Hopefully he'll get more growth on his. I know he was thinking that uh, he's having this problem because maybe his plant is just too young, which would mean that um, let's go in a little further. A little. I won't use this plant too much for um, discussion because it's very bushy and I have a, a twin of it over there that's less bushy and easier to um, sift through for the details coming soon and um, another one that's opening or fully open they don't quite open all the way um, they do have this downward droopiness so I would say they are enjoyed from up above, but they are just so small. There we go. Um, anyway, so here's a bud that's just coming out of the leaf axle. And you can see it's a pretty good size. Now we need to erupt that out of these little crooks in here. They do kind of come out like an oncidium. These don't develop a bulb, but they do... Oh, let's find a good representation of what we would refer to as maybe a fan since it does not have a bulb. So there's some chevroning of the leaves. They kind of go, you know, um, like that. And then from in here, we'll erupt out the bulb. The, bloom the inflorescence and the bloom will start to develop in this pocket and together it should push out right um so the thinking with um yinsi's capristinia tolimensis is that the bud that's developing in here is too big and it gets stuck it's too tight in here and it one thing he was saying was that maybe the fan itself is too young to be pushing a bud out because as time goes by um, you do get much bigger fans so in theory if this fan is bigger there's going to be more space in here and here you can see a spent inflorescence and you see how that it comes out of this pocket in here all the way down so what he did with his bud that he's working on right now he has a more colorful word for it but I'll just call it leaf splitting um, he snipped down this line and in theory you can just pull apart the leaves and it should um, come all the way down to the bottom of the plant and just separate so it doesn't damage the rest of the plant but some of these can have soft leaves and uh, that can be difficult to accomplish so he used some twi tweezers and little snippers and got in there and instead of removing the whole nook he just cut it off around here to release the bud so that even if the spike or the inflorescence doesn't extend anymore the bud itself should have room to open uh, fully open so that's what he did but I was looking at my Costa Ricenses and 
I realized that after looking at his, these weren't, though they're all Capristinias, this, these just did not appear as um, firm leafed as the one that he has. But I do have another one and I mislabeled it. I told him it was a Parvillarbus, but this is a Mistocinia. And so, um, the variety aside, this one actually looks more like the one that he has. Let me turn up the light a little bit here. And in that, the fans don't really have that bushing up habit that the other two have. You can see just how thick it is and then you can see how sparse this is. But the other difference between the two is that these fans are pretty firm. The leaves are much more firm. And um, so my thinking was that since these are so firm, it might take a little more strength in the inflorescence to really push that bud out. And um, again, you can tell that um, <clears throat> here's a younger fan. It's not quite as big. Let me get my thumb out of there. Um, it's not quite as big compared to one of these more full-grown fans that seem to be split pretty pretty wide here. So maybe that makes the difference is this overall there's more room in here for a bud to erupt. Um, this one did not come in bloom. It does not have any blooms coming that I can see see it does have some spent inflorescences here so it has bloomed before um, so I'm definitely going to keep my eye on this one just so that we can troubleshoot maybe um, and maybe the answer is just more simple that the plant just is not old enough to support the size of that bloom um, so, so, um, it's good to, um, bounce around and see what other people have to say if you have a Kefirstinia and um or you've experienced something like those like definitely head over to his page and give him some pointers or maybe what you've experienced i'm sure he'd appreciate that i wish emc so much luck with his and i hope that his leaf <laughs> uh, snipping uh, will yield him a beautiful bud that opens because these are just uh, small and charming and um I think if you can find one you should definitely get it I believe I've said it before but anyway that's my spotlight on Kifferstinias um, anyway I hope you're all having a nice weekend and I look forward to making more spotlight videos and I welcome any comments or um, challenges to my opinions <laughs> or whatever you know we're all learning and growing together and learning from each other and um, what works for one person may not work for another, but at least it's a conversation and maybe could be a uh, springboard to um, something that you didn't consider before. So uh, as long as everyone's respectful, I always, always, always want um, everyone to feel free to um, say what they have to say and um, offer their opinion and advice. So I'll uh, take care everyone and I'll see you in the next installment.